So this week, we're kind of looking at uh, progress, growth, evolution. <clears throat> evolution seems to be a big part of our reality, doesn't it? Growing, progressing, trying new things, mutating. From whatever angle you wish to describe that. Anyway, um, this saying that I heard the other day, a fellow said, I'm, I'm not who I'm going to become, but I'm not who I used to be. I, I found it um I found it quite compelling because it it described this progression that we're all on and the spiritual game that we're involved in it's such an interesting one because on the one hand you know there's this continual message to um to love ourselves and to honor and to revere and to have a healthy sense of respect and admiration for us and of course that's crucially important and yet are we satisfied with who we've become do we feel as though we've reached our full potential in this life in terms of our capacity for um creation self-expression service uh productivity everything that we're capable of and so it's this it's this pull isn't it isn't it and i think if you're probably in this group and you're a meditator there's uh there's this tug going on between this spiritual take of um a calm and peaceful soul and i've i have engaged in harshness and criticism and condemnation of myself during my life or uh i haven't felt good about myself and so this this capacity to develop a sense of reverence or love and admiration for our own selves is such an incredibly important thing. And yet, if you talk to anybody who's alive and aware and sentient, almost all of them will talk about everything that they've not become yet. Can you relate to that? The things you haven't done or haven't learned or want to learn or things that you'd like to clean up or or the ways in which you want to grow and evolve and and become the person become the person that you were meant to be and so it's a it's a tricky fine line but i believe in our meditation we get a good baseline we we get an intelligent truthful assessment of where we are on that scale we don't want to become self satisfied we don't want to fall in love with a version of ourselves that is um that is not the fullness of who we could be in other words by all means love ourselves but don't love a version of ourselves that is somehow incomplete or inauthentic or has not yet achieved its full potential and it could be that we'll never achieve our full potential i would uh it occurs to me that at any given moment i can pause and say wow i've come a long way it's good but man in relation to this feeling inside of me that's always pushing me to grow and evolve and try new things coupled with my character defects and perceptual distortions that seem to put a funnel on my head, so to speak. There's always this capacity to say, what's next? Where will I go from here? If you ever watch the TV show West Wing is one of my favorite TV shows of all time, written by Aaron Sorkin, a brilliant writer. Uh, the president, Martin Sheen, forgot his name in the show, but there'd be discussions of all the staff members. And finally, he would just say, what's next? What's next? And so this week, this week, we're looking at what's next and how we can start. And perhaps the best of both worlds, consider this, would be to be happy and content and joyful with what we have, and also a healthy sense of discontent, a healthy sense of not there yetness, not there yetness. I'm content with where I'm at, but it's nowhere near who I'm becoming. And letting that internal impulse give us the ideas, the creativity, the the pinch that keeps us moving, that keeps us growing. It's the pin in the baby baby's diaper that makes them cry out and say, "More, please. There's more to this, and I seek it, and I I'm involved in the adventure of life." So this week, I ask you, I suggest you might take a look at uh, loving and being 
satisfied and content with who you've become and feel that pinch, that draw, that attraction, that inspiration, that enthusiasm for what's next so that we can become all that God has made us to be. And when we get there, we'll realize we haven't even scratched the surface. So enjoy the adventure this week. And uh, myself and Cone Cat will go out there and mix it up. We'll see you tomorrow.